Hello everyone, my name is Hevo. Welcome to my channel. And so today I'm going to be telling you guys some dates for Korean's official national holiday. So sit back, stay tight, and get some Korean information. So first of all, 1st of January. 1st of January is known as New Year's. Many Koreans visit the coast or the mountains to watch the first sunrise of the year. Then we have January 21st to 24th, which is classified as Sula. The lunar calendar observes January 1st on January 21st, which is the Lunar New Year's Day, Sula. It is one of the most important and very significant days to January 1st. Businesses are closed, people take several days off from work to go visit their hometowns and to be with family. Then we have March 1st, which is the Independence Movement Day. This day commemorates the Declaration of Independence proclaimed on March 1st, 1999, while under the Japanese colonization. This holiday is basically to enjoy the independence. We have May 5th, which is Children's Day. Children's Day celebrates children and the hope for children to be nurtured with love and care. Children's Day is basically just to celebrate children. You have kids, take them out to enjoy. Then we have May 27th, which is Buddha's birthday, which falls on the eighth day of the fourth lunar month. It elaborates the solemn rituals which are held at many Buddha's temple across the country, and lanterns are hung along the streets leading to the temples. This day is basically Buddha's birthday. I actually like this holiday because this is the memorial day. This day serves to honor the soldiers and civilians who have given their lives for their country. This is a very, a very heartwarming holiday because it seeks out to remember those soldiers who have given their life for their country. Like your hard work has now been forgotten. Okay, so August 15th, which is Liberation Day. This day commemorates Japan's acceptance of the Allies, which is a term of surrender in 1945 and the following liberation of Korea. So this is basically a day to enjoy and celebrate the liberation of Koreans. September 28th to 30th. This has to be one of my favorite holidays, which is known as Chuseok. Chuseok is one of the year's most important traditional holidays. It's celebrated on the 15th day of the 8th lunar month, as Chuseok is a day set to celebrate a bountiful harvest. It is often referred to as Korean Thanksgiving Day. Family members from all over the world gather for memorial rites called Chari at the graves of their ancestors. I actually love this holiday so much because we get to gather around, eat good foods, catch up on good quality family time. You get to go back home to your families, eat good Korean traditional meals, pay respects to the graves of your ancestors like people who came before you. This holiday is actually very important to Koreans like this holiday is really dear to them and they wouldn't miss it for the world. I would think I'm looking forward to this holiday also. I'm also looking forward to be able to celebrate Chisok with my Korean friends someday. October 3, this is National Foundation Day. This day commemorates the founding of Korean nation by the legendary God King Dangun. A simple ceremony is held at several regions throughout Korea, namely at Changsodan Altar on top of Mansian Mountain on Gangwado Island or Dangujeon Shrine in Gokseong. Next we have October 9 which is Hangul Day. This day is for the commemoration held to remember the creation of Hangul. 
the country's native alphabet as proclaimed by the publication of Human Jujan, the proper sound instruction of the people. So this day is basically a day to celebrate Hangul, the Korean alphabet that everybody wants to learn now. You see people trying to learn Hangul almost like every single day. Even me, I'm trying to learn Hangul. So this day is meant for it. I'm pretty sure almost everybody knows this day, Christmas Day, which is celebrated on the calendar December 25th. Christmas is observed as a national holiday in Korea, as well as many other countries. It's my favorite holiday too. This day is to celebrate the first two seasons of Christmas. Oh my god, giving presents, receiving presents, that's what Christmas is all about. Spreading love and joy throughout the whole world. Now, during the season of Christmas, Christmas tree and lights can be seen all over Korea. And oh my god, it is extremely pretty. Like Korea during Christmas, just like a road full of so many shiny lights. It's so pretty. I love the way they celebrate Christmas. And also, everybody celebrates Christmas good. But I'll actually love to go to Korea too on Chisok and Christmas. Okay, thank you guys for watching this video. Hope to see you on another one. Bye bye.